YouTube. It's The Last Backyard again, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do another fake technique. This was taught to me by a guy named Noel Blends. He's on Instagram. Look him up, YouTube, all that. Um, his technique is really good for beginners, so I want to show you guys that. So to start off, we're going to take our two guard closed, and we're basically going to create our foundation for the fade so we know what we're blending into. Next up, we're going to set in our ball guideline. Notice how I keep that C cup area dark. We're going to need that to create a nice lineup. Now we're going to take our custom FX's with our one guard closed and go up about an inch, creating a nice panel. Now we're going to take our half guard and do the exact same thing. Don't overthink it. Just visualize this as sanding the hair down. Okay, now we're going to close our lever and we're going to just tap at that line and then open it up a notch and use our corners to take out the rest of that line. It should come out easily since we've sanded the hair down now. Now you're going to grab your one and a half guard, close the lever, and we're going to go up about an inch. Don't be afraid to stretch this guideline out. Now we're going to take our one guard lever open, and we're basically going to fade down within this one and a half guard closed section. So as you guys see, I'm going to the top of the line with the lever open. Now we're halfway in the middle of that panel. Then we're going to close it and hit that bottom line, which essentially is like a ghost line. So it if it comes out, cool. If not, we'll come behind that with the half guard. Now, if you have a line left over, I'd slap on the half guard and I recommend starting lever open, closing as needed to take out that bottom line. Now to connect the bottom of the fade to the top, we're gonna use our one and a half guard open using our corners and really just start attacking that little dark line by the Prado Ridge. Now for the most part, the fade system is done, but we need a detail. So take your one guard, open that lever, and just use the corners and take out any dark spots. This is where you can really try and develop your barber's eye. Okay, so right here I'm showing you guys that my client's C cup has a lot of overgrowth, so we're gonna have to get a little cosmetic to achieve that C cup. As far as tips on how to achieve a nice C cup, I recommend starting like a guideline at the top of his vertical bar. And then you're going to start another one at the bottom. Then afterwards, you're going to connect the two in the middle using the corner of your blade and pivoting the trimmer. When using your straight razor, make sure you're just stretching the skin, keeping the blade at a 45 degree angle and not pressing down too hard. Just be gentle, apply a shave gel if you need to and let the blade do majority of the work as it glides across the skin. Hopefully you guys have been paying attention. Let's do the other side. Okay, so we're gonna set in our guideline. Next up, we're gonna debulk. Now we're gonna use our electric shaver and get down the skin. Emphasis on the flick out, okay? Look at the motion. Now we're gonna go two guard closed to set our foundation. Then we're going to use thinning shears, one guard closed, half guard closed, closed lever, one notch to take it out. All right, now we're going to go one and a half guard closed about an inch. Now we're going to take our one guard open halfway, then close attacking that bottom line. Next up, we're going to go two guard closed just to make sure we're all good. Then one and a half guard open to connect the two. One guard open to start detailing, half guard to take out that line, start our guideline at the bottom of our C cup. Then we're gonna start at the top and really try and emphasis, and I like the really exaggerated C cup. Right here, I'm just slowing it down so I can show you guys I'm checking that I'm not pushing them back too crazy or nothing like that. Every lineup is a pushback, so don't get in the comments and get butt hurt.
Okay, for the rest of this, most of it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna explain too much. You guys just watch and enjoy the video. That being said, YouTube, this is the cut. Every time my man comes in, I get him laced up. My name's The Last Backyard again, or Backyard Blends. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more. Follow me on Instagram at The Last Backyard again, too. And yeah, like, subscribe, and peace.